Campo, and I am the creator of this project, Filming Revolution. Um, it's a project that I did um, over the course of several years, starting in 2011. I finished it, uh, at least the first iteration, in 2015, and then um, I expanded it uh, a bit more for the publication by Stanford University Press in their Stanford Digital um, Digital Humanities Publications in 2018. So this is the Stanford page um, and it's one way to enter the project. If you were to type in the URL filmingrevolution.supdigital.org, actually it would take you directly to the splash page of the project. And this is what viewers would see at the beginning of a project, uh, of the project, uh, before they've actually entered into it. Um, but in order to enter, you would click Start Browsing. This brings you to what we we're calling the Global Archive. This is kind of the full panoply of possibilities uh, in graphic form of uh, interview extracts, uh, peop the people w that I went and interviewed, um, themes that they've discussed in their interviews, and also projects that they would be involved in. So I think many people just come to this project to the Global Archive page and just start routing, routing around. And you know, you can see if you hover over any of these nodes or dots, um, you get a kind of constellation that shows up. And you know, you can just click randomly and enter into any of these nodes or what we call clusters. Um, that's one way to do it. Just you know, find your way in a way in in the dark in this overwhelming. Uh, archive that has hundreds of nodes. But you may notice that there are three main colors. This is a color color coded uh, archive and the colors <laughs> have a reason. Um, they are t uh, associated with the three main organizing aspects of the project. Themes that were discussed um, by the various people I interviewed, people who were interviewed, there are, there are, there are 30 interviews uh, in this project, uh, all color-coded with sort of yellow. Um, the yellow dots are people, Laila Sami, uh, Marianne Khouri, these are the people that I interviewed. And the projects that any of these people would be associated with, or projects that are discussed in, the, in, in this, uh, in Filming Revolution, are color-coded by red. Okay, so if you, if you hover over uh, a red dot, you'll see um, the people associated with that project. In this case, Land Without is a short video made by Yasmina Metwali and Philip Risk. So they are connected by constellation, by, by dots, uh, by lines, sorry. Uh, Little Eagles, for example, you want to know who made Little Eagles? Mohammed Rashad. Now, was there anyone else involved in it? Well, actually, they're off the page. If I slide up, uh, yes, Basam Mortada is in the film Little Eagles. So he's associated here with it. Um, so those are the main uh, color codings of this project. There's, you'll notice here, a list. Um, this list has everything, oops, sorry, has everything uh, on it that is in the archive and can be filtered, right? So if I want to organize this, if I want to just experience this project by going to the people and getting to hear their interviews, I can just click on that filter. Uh, and all of the people interviewed are listed here. Um, and again, the global archive is then filtered just by the yellow dots. Okay. So I could then go to one of the people being interviewed. Let's say uh, I'll go to Salma, Salma Tarzi. Click on Salma, and then we get to see a picture of Salma from her interview. These are the extracts from her interview that are, that are included in Filming Revolution. These are the themes that um, her interview extracts may have touched upon, will have touched upon. And if you see a red dot, that would be a project that she was involved in, okay? Um, so if I wanted to, I could go really methodically from you know person to person and listen to all of the extracts or watch all of the extracts from their interview. Um, starting with uh, how she introduced herself. I could click on 
this uh, horizontal rectangle intro, and it'll take me directly to my name's Sandy Felty, and um, I'm a filmmaker. And, uh, I make documentaries. I've made documentaries so far, and a couple of uh, short f fiction. And uh, I worked for a long time as a TV commercial producer to make money. And uh, recently I started painting again. So that's uh, Sama Tarzo, Tarzi's intro. Um, you can continue watching uh, this way by the recommended, recommended um, extracts. You can go back to Salma Tarzi. I can actually uh, use the level uh, tool here and click, click back on the, the, the last cluster I visited, which was Tarzi. You'll see if I watch something, it will be dimmed. I can watch it again, of course, but that indicates where I've already been. And I can do, I can do this right the way through the list. I could instead say, hmm, she's talking about women's projects. Maybe I'd like to see what she says. Click on that, it'll take you to the cluster uh, around women's projects. And Sama Tarzi is talking about it, as is, let's say, Marianne Khoury, a well-known uh, film producer in Egypt. Okay, um, So that's one way I can, I can filter the project, or I can actually search the project by theme. There are over 70 themes um, that um, people touched upon, and themes are... Uh, you know, I, went, I edited the interviews, and as I was editing them, I would tag different themes that came up. And when multiple people talked about the same theme, they then kind of joined into a, a cluster, let's say, um, around certain topics. So let's say using film as a weapon, I can click on that theme, and anybody who discussed something related to this theme comes into a kind of, we could say, curated dialogue. Now, they weren't speaking to one another, the interviews were separate, but they're brought into dialogue. They don't all necessarily agree with one another, they may uh, be, be talking about different aspects of a theme, but you can actually explore this theme, let's say using film as a weapon, um, by coming into this cluster or node. If you want to know more about what was discussed in a kind of organized fashion, there are also articles. Every theme and every person, actually, uh, in this interview, in this project, has an article associated with them. So I can go to the Film as Weapon article, and I can read about all the different people who talked about this theme and kind of, you know, get an overview of that theme. Uh, as I was writing, I would mention, you know, let's say Yasmina, I'll quote uh, from her interview, as Yam Yasmina Metwali puts it, um, et cetera, et cetera. And if you want to go to that extract that's being quoted from, you can go right there by clicking on this. So we wanted actually every aspect of this uh, project to be interactive, even the written components, so that um, you can go to the extract and you can go back to this article or you can go back to the theme. Uh, just use the X over here and you can go back to the theme. There are There is a tutorial um, if you find it complicated to, to navigate the, the project. You can actually go to the tutorial, click on it, and it'll tell you where you are, what you do here. Um, in this cluster, uh, you'll find relevant material from interviews and projects about this theme. You can click on the re yellow rectangles to watch related interview extracts. Click on the red rectang rectangles to watch related videos from, from projects that are being discussed, okay? So, um, and this um, tells you that the, ver the vertical, I get this confused, the vertical rectangles uh, lead you to the articles. Another way to get to articles um, in this project, and the articles can be very useful in giving you an overview about somebody's full interview, uh, what they did, what they said, um, or about a theme, we also have a list of the articles here that can also be filtered by theme or by person. So hopefully those articles um, are one way, you know, let's say somebody's more text-based than more graphic-based, um, those articles should help you also as a way to navigate the project. Um, if you were 
if you found if you were in a theme and you were having trouble finding it again um, and you remember what it was called you can also use the search function here uh, at the bottom of of this uh, list you can search and let's say you wanted to get back to Halalutfi you could search Halalutfi or if you wanted to get back to uh, filming anything with filming on it uh, the themes appear again here filming in Tahrir Square um, you can get to an article there so you can use this search function um, and you should clear the search function also remember to clear the search function um, if you want to get back to the full um, list. Okay, you can hide that list if it's getting in your way and if you prefer to search things graphically just click on the archive again and it'll come back to you. Um, you may notice on the upper left um, there's an option to show pathways. People who have been to the site, uh, students, many times students, will create pathways so that they can bring it to the class and say I looked at this uh, for somebody's Arab Spring class presentation, they made a pathway, and we can watch people's pathways. We can click on that pathway, and it'll take us to the media that they gathered. Um, this pathway happens only to have one uh, video. Um, usually pathways have more than one video. Um, but you can add things, and you can create a pathway to, um, for your own experience of the website, and then you can share that. That's one of the most interactive aspects um, that's something that viewers can actually bring to to this project and there are as you can see many 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 pathways made so that would be another way one could navigate um, this website by by looking at um, where other people went and what they found so you can be as organized uh, and kind of programmatic about how you want to explore filming revolution um, or you can be as random. You can just go to the Global Archive like this and kind of just click on Hala Lutfi or click on Basan Mortada uh, or click on a project, Chayfin, um, and learn more about um, an aspect very randomly. Oh, I know who Yusuf Shaheen is. What, you know, what does he have to do with filming revolution? And I could click on that and, and um, see more uh, related to that. Or I could be very programmatic, go to the list, um, and say, I'm going to look at all of the projects that were mentioned and discussed in this, in this, uh, in Filming Revolution, learn about them um, based on, uh, you know, what I see here, maybe look at the trailer, if that's included um, as an option, and uh, obviously this project is made by Tahani Rashid, Ah, Tahani Rashid, I think I've heard her name. She's a well-known Egyptian documentary filmmaker. And then I could go through Tahani's uh, interview, or I could go to the article about Tahani um, and learn more about it that way. So this is a resource um, that is made for researchers, but it's also made for anyone interested in um, what happened during the Egyptian rev revolution, what kind of filmmaking uh, was being done. You can learn more about this project. There's a list uh, at the bottom um, that will lead you to information about the project, to the credits, uh, assuming you might be interested in, in uh, you know, who made this project. Um, I, sh I want to give a shout out to the programmer who program did all the original programming for this. That's Hussein Kushju, who I work very closely with. Um, there are resources, some of which are probably already out of date. Uh, the bibliography that informed this project, a way to contact um, the maker, me. Um, and as I, as I mentioned, the tutorial. You can always sort of pop up the tutorial at any point and uh, get yourself oriented again. So that's basically um, my project, uh, as I understand it anyway, and as a viewer would have experienced it. Um, and hopefully it makes sense. I'm going to leave you uh, just with a piece of media. Um, Mustafa Bahagat, he, he, he's one of the few people who gave his interview in, in Arabic. Um, and he was a very frontline uh, video journalist who talked a lot about um, kind of what it meant to try and uh, capture the 
the events as they were happening from the perspective of a video journalist. take you back using the level to the cluster of Mustafa, Mustafa Bahagat and back to the Global Archive. Thank you for watching.